We're back. We're back. We're back. I'm not for sure, though. For sure. For sure. For sure. Oh, we're using everybody's lines. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about coming up with some new ones. Yeah, we need to come up with some new ones. That's T's line. Hi, everybody. How is everybody tonight? How is everyone? Oops. Oh, my gosh. I almost just ended broadcast. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just almost pushed the red button. <laughs> I meant to push the comments. <laughs> and instead, I, use, I, I, I picked the whatever. It's fine. I didn't do it. <laughs> We're good. We're here. We're all here. Lost City Treasures. Good evening, Shriker, she says. Be sure to be on live chat. You know, Shriker's been a great uh, support, you guys, these past two weeks that T's been gone. I mean, I don't, this thing is whispering. Do you hear it? I can't. You can? No. Sometimes I can, but right now I can't. Ooh, it feels real hot, too. Okay. All right. Nope. I can still hear it. I don't know why. Let me see if I can fix it, you guys. Sometimes I have to unplug it, turn it around, plug it back in. Nope, I can still hear it whispering. Now it's starting to whistle. You hear it? Uh, yeah, a little echo there. I don't know why. Okay, maybe that will do it. No, it's still whispering. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yes. Yeah. It's probably like really loud to them. Hold on. Oops, hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can quiet this beast down. I think I'm going to have to break down and buy a, a phone. I mean, a um, camera, like you were saying, instead of, instead of using my phone, because I can still hear the whisper. I don't know why. But anyways, what I was saying was, um, thank you so much, Schreiker, for helping me in T's absence. Um, you know, I have no problem going on by myself, but it's always uh, so much nicer to have someone when I can say, isn't this cute? <laughs> and then someone says, yes, Donna, it's cute. You know, instead of like looking at the chat and waiting for someone to respond that it's cute. <laughs> Yeah. So thank you. Have to wait 15 I mean, seconds to get a response. Huh? Yeah. Not to mention keeping track of everything I saw, which is yeah. just unbelievably awesome. I unpacked some amazing glassware today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much glassware and I don't know what I'm going to do with it because glassware is so expensive to ship and wrap and send out. I have all these beautiful different color goblets and um I don't know I'm gonna have to decide what I'm gonna do with that hi stitch it any idea I we ju I just called her like right this very minute they're out to dinner I said can I send you the link and you can come in and she said that they were out to dinner and they didn't know what time she would be home but she did say that she's gonna release a buy it now video tomorrow you guys so she did put one together, um, so please go over and support T. Um, I think Shriker is going to be dropping some links, links momentarily also. Um, hi, Lisa. This has been a huge undertaking for her. Hey, D's Collections. Welcome in. It's all good. It's all goods. Ah, I like that. It's all goods. That's a good name. Julie's Fabulous Finds. Hello. Welcome in. Mary Pisano. Hello, Mr. Murray Zuckerman. Welcome in. Good to see you. Heather MC. Hello. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. You guys are awesome. Let's see. Let's see. Karen. Hello, Karen. Oh, Mara. Mara sent me a little plant. It's beautiful, Mara. And it's in a little tin tea, teapot um, with purple flowers. Thank you, sweetheart. That was so thoughtful of you. So thoughtful of you. I love it. I have it out on my patio. I'll take a picture of it. I was going to do it today, but I just ran out of time so that I could show you when you come into the chat so you can see how beautiful it is. Thank you. It was very, very thoughtful of you. D. Hewitt. Hello, hello. 
<laughs> salutations. Does he see something Disney behind me? <laughs> And all roommates, <laughs> East Coast thrifting, Shopaholly, Dora, Harley Kitten. Hi, Donna and Trucker. Me and Haley are watching. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Mara. Yes. Yep. It was awesome. I actually, I actually spent the day with the girls yesterday. They uh, both needed all a ton of paperwork done for college and her physical. And then I took the girls out to dinner last night and we ate, we went for sushi and I ate way too much. And I even said to Schreiker, he, he texted me, he's like, what's the plan? And I texted him a series of emojis of like crying faces, perplexed faces, open eyed emoji faces. Like I, I, I couldn't, couldn't figure out what the, what they all meant. <laughs> Is there a dictionary for these things or what? <laughs> I was like, well, we came home and um, I laid down for a little bit and I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. So today we were out again this morning for blood tests and, you know, she had to have, um, which is even the pediatrician was like perplexed about it. She had to have a sickle cell um a sickle cell blood test, which is like really unusual. Um, but the pediatrician explained to me that with sickle cell, um, you can uh, form blood clots very easily. And with athletes, they check for sickle cell because um, of the vigor uh, vigorous activity that they do. And the faster the blood goes through the veins, the more chance of it clotting together and then it could cause stroke and cardiac arrest. So that's what I had to take her today to have her sickle cell test. So we were out all morning uh, doing that and running around and took her for breakfast. And then the girls came back here and I'm, I'm proud to say I'm like 90% caught up with my shipping. Lola and Angelina worked all day. Um, Tomorrow, we're going to kind of work on decorating a little bit at the cottage because I have weekend guests coming and I want things to be very much in order. Of course, the back room is still the back room. We're still working in the front part of the cottage. Um, you have fun with your weekend guests. What's that? You'll have a lot of fun with them. I will. I will. I'm so excited. I'll be live Saturday night when they arrive, you guys. Erica Casey, welcome in. Oh, you're kidding. I'm a new great aunt of a beautiful nine pound girl. Bless her heart, Karen. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at, is that the baby? Is that your regular profile? I don't remember what your profile picture is, but that's the baby. Look at all the hair. Holy cow. Sexton. Welcome in. Hey, Greens Vintage. Welcome in. Ah, D. Hewitt says you have her favorite blue shirt on. It is nice on him. Goals, goals, goals. I'm watching basketball and doing work, but I'll be around shortly. All right, Kyle. Thank you so much. But he has hockey nets up. He should have a basketball goal up. If he's uh, I don't know if, the, if that emoji exists. <laughs> Hi, May. Welcome in. Welcome in. Christine Rose. Hello, Barb. Welcome in. Boatman, Boatman. Hello, hello. Hi, Elizabeth. So just so that you know, I gave Angelina very special instructions on your uh, lot of Beanie Babies. So I hope you're pleased with it. <laughs> I told her to curate at least half of it. <laughs> she loves cats, you guys. So, I mean, if someone had told me that they wanted, you know, mostly birds, I probably would have done that too. <laughs> Hi, Virginia. Hope you're well. Hey, Susan. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Make sure you check tour subs for some reason. I was unsubbed from some channels and had to resub. So I was not getting notices. Oh, thank you, Brad. Yes, you guys, make sure you check to make sure that you're um, subscribed. Yeah, I find that happens a lot. I go through and have to refresh my subs all the time. Yeah, T um, got unsubscribed to my channel once. That would be really odd there. 
I imagine the smaller channels that notice when you get new subs, like, didn't he just sub last month? He's subbing again. <laughs> I know, right? Hi, Joanne. Mr. Frank Perez, good evening, sir. Good to see you. Offer it if they want to pay shipping. She's talking about the glass. Hi, Jenny. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Robin. Welcome in, Robin. Loot Raider. Hello, hello. Welcome in. There's a new picture there for Loot Mr. Raider. Mr. KJ. Yeah, for Root, Root Raider. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's awesome with the diamond. Really awesome. KJ. Hello, dear Donna. Remember my nickname, Mr. Late a lot. <laughs> Hi. Hey, there's Jim. Good evening. Hope you are great. So, Jim. I sent him three invoices of exactly the same thing. I I had to switch out my mouse today for my, you know, the laptop that I bought. I hate using the. Oh, yeah. Those are terrible. So I put a, a, a mouse terrible. on it and the mouse was malfunctioning. Mm -hmm. It was repeating things like it was. I would put in like one and like four ones would show up. And right. of course I loved that, that was awesome. But it was happening with anything that I was writing. So I did send those cancellations, Jim. Um, it was just uh, really weird. I'm getting lots of cats, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Not lots, but just some. <laughs> oh, let's see, Karen says, that's my granddaughter, no picture yet of the new baby. Ah, Christine Rose says, guess what, Donna? What, Christine Rose? What is it? Maybe she's out of school for the night. She can stick around. Oh, is that what she said? Shriker, uh, have a great evening. No, no. I'm just wondering. Is KJ leaving? He's saying, Shriker, have a great evening. No, I think he's here. Hey, back from outer space. Welcome in, Steve. Welcome in. Good to see you. Awesome, awesome. Junebug. Hi, honey. Junebug must miss her uh, team. Uh, bad. There's Christine's surprise. Let's see. Christine's surprise. I got a job. Awesome, Christine. Congratulations. <laughs> that is awesome. What a great feeling that is. That is so awesome. Everybody, congratulate Christine. That's awesome. Hey, good morning, Anthony. Anthony, thank you so thank you so much for that really kind-hearted shout out last night. I was over um, at Nurse Flipper, and KJ um, KJ and Anthony wrote in the chat that Donna does auctions and she always has great things. And I have a um, antique booth and I buy a lot of stuff from her and that was really nice of you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And then Kat gave me a nice shout out too, which was, which was very generous. Very nice. Hi, Kevin. I heard KJ is looking forward to some purses. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Now the, the struggle between the purses to show the purses or not to show the purses. Well, I see a few of them there in the background, don't I? What do you see? Some purses back there. There? Yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Doreen. Hello, hello. Yes, I may have pulled out mm, a couple. Yeah. Just a couple. Those are all, look like all Vera's, aren't they? Yeah, they're all Vera. They're all Vera Bradley's. Yes, they are. I had so much stuff. I don't even know. I plan to stay on... You can't get rid of me that so easily. Good, KJ. I'm glad. Hey, KP. Mr. Greg Lusk. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Jill. Jill, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Thank you, Jill. Thank you so much. Oh, I see Pluto and a blue bear. See how they can see everything in the background? It's amazing that you guys can, like, really see all the stuff that's in the background. They Let's may see. put you up on a big screen. I don't see a blue bear. I don't either. I see a little llama down there, right? The pink llama. Is that one of those dancing ones? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, when I did when I did the short for that one, oh my gosh, I got I don't know if you remember if you saw it, but there was like six people that wanted it. Yeah. But I had already sold her. I sold her before I did the short. I get a kick out of them. I know they were kind of big there, what, two years ago at Christmas or a year and a half? Yeah, it's so funny. Kelly, hi, <laughs> sweetheart. Welcome in. Ozma, hello, hello. That random girl is in the house. Do I need to make reservations to stay at the cottage? <laughs> no, you do not. You do not. You just let me know when you want to come. You know that. As long as the weekend's free. Actually, well, that's making reservations, isn't it? Let you know right? I mean, even if the weekend isn't free, I right now can accommodate one, two, three, four, five, six people here. Two. If they're yeah. an air mattress, many more. I have two of them. Okay. I have two brand new air mattresses. So I can blow up, and they're both like full size. I can blow up two air mattresses and one, two for that. Then I have the futon in the front. That's four. And then I have the guest bedroom. That's six. Six people. Plus, there's even more room for that. I mean, there's plenty of room here. Because the, the, the kitchen's huge the living room is huge heck you could even put a blow up mattress in the shipping room there's plenty of room in there too <laughs> a couple so tips out on the lawn <laughs> plenty of room that's dumbo that you see mary he's awesome cat d you didn't miss anything honey we're just saying hello to everybody while everybody is strolling in When you're drunk, who cares where you sleep, right? It's true. No kidding. Hi, Renee. Welcome in. Welcome to the family. Party at dawn is Holly's like, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. She's like, party at dawn is. Oh, my God. There's Cricket. Hi, Cricket. They're, out, they're still all talking. We can have a meetup at Donna's. Oh my gosh, June, you should see my um, my clubhouse for a meetup is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. I haven't given you guys a tour of that yet. I haven't had time. Mm. I want to I want to give you guys a tour of the clubhouse, the pool, the spa, the the um, you know hot tub, and there's a beautiful playground, and then there's I think shuffleboards back there, and all kinds of stuff. I don't even. I haven't even like. Um, Christine and I went there um, and we did a load of laundry. They have laundry facilities too um, before I bought the washer and dryer. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Hey, Gypsy Mama, I will bring the tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> I think you might be coming down for a visit, right? You're going to visit your mom, which is just like right, right where Shopaholly lives. That's exactly where she lives. Well, that's still, what, three hours north of you, though. So it'll still be a drive down. Yeah, it's still three hours. Mary, I am um, approximately 50, almost an hour, depending on traffic, from Boca Raton. Just an hour north of Boca Raton. 45, yeah, Jill, the pool is really nice in the hot tub. Really, really nice. I've been wanting to do a video. I just haven't had a chance. If I'm not on live, I'm shipping or I'm not taking care of the kids or the house or something. So I will do it. I will do it. My son is moving there. Oh, Boca Raton or Boca Raton West? I wonder. Hi, Carrie. Hey, sweetheart. Welcome in. Lady Lake, probably looking at September beginning. We want to hit Orlando Pride game when we are down there and see Alex Morgan, but she won't be back until after the Olympics. Hi, Heather. Well, look who's here. I don't want to be obnoxious, but I haven't gotten any invoices from you. No rush. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. I was just saying, I've got Susan Arrington, Heather Blackwell, um, Carl, 
some of my big ones that I still did. And I got out like all of my smaller ones and some of my big ones that need a little bit of thinking and organizing and researching. So the girls are coming back here tomorrow. I was just saying I'm like 90% done. So bear with me one more day. I'm only looking for one purse, but it has to be rather large and tough leather and manly looking. They're still talking about purses. <laughs> I we'll go, back, go back up a ways and see who came in. Oh, who came in? Look at all the hearts. Oh, Kimberly. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, hello, hello. Have you met Kimmy in person? No, 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 I have not. I have not met Kimberly in person. I'm very, very excited. Very, very excited. Okay, let me get this banner down. Kimberly, you're so pretty. Okay. All right. So Katie Ann, did I say hi to you, honey? I don't know. Okay, no big deal. When you get a chance. Thank you, Heather. You're really sweet. Um, okay. So if there's anybody watching in the background, hello, hello. We just said, hello. These are our friends. I'm Donna. This is Shriker down below. Um, oh, Karen, this is Shriker, Shriker 20. And he is, uh, usually the moderator for us. He comes into the back room once in a while. Sometimes he just hangs out in the chat, but in T's absence, he's very generously, um, He's, he comes in and he gives me his time and hangs out with me. And it's, it's nice to have another person to talk to um, instead of being on there, um, you know, all by myself. But that's Stryker. That's Stryker down below. We might need to put up our little blue banners to tell everybody who we are. Oh, here. I have I have them here. But you know what? I, I take them down because... Um, so I never see you use them, yeah. Yeah, I never use them because sometimes like like it's on the side. Sometimes it like gets in the way when I'm showing. Yeah, for sure. You know, so that's why I, I don't usually I don't usually show them. Okay, so if you haven't registered, I have to go for now, but I will be back. Hopefully I won't miss any purses. Okay, Robin, thanks for stopping in. Hope to see you. Vintage treasures. Hello, hello, Tammy. Hi, sweetheart. We love Shriker. See that, Shriker? How do you like that? Thank you, thank you. That's awesome. Um, I have talked to him before, but it's nice to have a face. Robin, I will probably buy all the purses, Jenny. <laughs> okay. So if you haven't registered, please do. Shriker will be dropping the link. Beetlebug, hello, hello. Um, it would be great if you take the time to do it now. Wait, wait, wait. What's KJ say? No invoices from Donna is her way of saying sorry. Shipping the way the will be slow. Actually, you know what, KJ? I have like 75 packages out there I'm waiting to go out. Um, I ship almost every day. I did take a couple of days off though this week. I did I did do that. I, I do admit I did take a couple of days. Um, uh oh, what did I do? You've ignored my hello twice, unusual vintage. You did nothing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The chat sometimes goes really fast. And it moves, moves quick sometimes. Yeah, it moves quick. And if I missed anybody, Donna, you want me to pay and save the certificate for my last lot? Katie, and it's completely up to you. I haven't I haven't deleted it yet. It's up to you if you want to, or if you want to use it, it's totally up to you. I haven't even looked for it, but I'm sure it's there. Um, your mailman mail, mail friend has stopped has not stopped by. Oh, he was here today. He was here today picking up a whole bunch of packages, but then we got a whole bunch more packages after he left. So yeah, there's a lot. Thank you, Heather. I mean, I didn't really relax. I did a lot of running around with the girls, you know, it's, um, <laughs> did you see Pat T's come in? I did. I told you I. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Pat. I'm sorry. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Elaine, hello, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. I tried to call um, Christine before I went live, but she didn't answer. Okay, Shreku, did you drop the link down on my new yeah, job? I'll do them again. Until July 6th, the day after my vacation. Awesome, Christine. So you have some time to um, relax. You have some time to relax, which is great. Okay, um, so here you are. Here is the link. Please register when you have registered. If there's anybody that's not registered, please just write in the chat that you have registered. I'll check your registration. Please make sure that you put the city, state, and zip code on the address line because it doesn't just as address, and some people forget to do that. Um, we do bid in $2 increments up to 50, and then we go to $5 increments, and if it gets to 100, we do $10. Um, when you're done bidding, yes, please say that you're done bidding, but you can always come back in because I am famous for adding more things to a lot. Um, sometimes it's uh, more cost effective for me to make a large lot to ship out instead of smaller lots. Um, so you can always come back in. Just make sure that you come back in before your fair, the fair warning goes up. Hi, Nola. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Shriker does a great job. He sure does. Corporate Donna Pat D's. No, 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 no. T can have that job right back as soon as she gets back. Um, make sure that you're on live chat, not top chat. And shipping is free with a $30 purchase. Um, if your purchase is not $30, I will hold it for one or two auctions or selling events um, to do combined shipping. So you get the $30. If it's something that you just want that one item and you don't think you're going to be buying something else, you can just ask to pay for shipping. I use Pirate Ship, which is um, bulk shipping rates, and I always will pass along the best rate that I can. Shipping is free in the United States and Puerto Rico. Um, it is not, however, overseas, but I do ship overseas, and I will give you a shipping quote. Again, through pirate ship. Um, I see Pat D's is trying to start a TikTok channel. That should be interesting. Uh, TikTok? Yeah, you know the uh, teenager site? Uh, I won't call them teenage site, but it's the funny video site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I never go there and watch those videos. I've seen um, some funny ones. So. Have you? Yeah, my husband is a little bit addicted to it. He watches it a lot. No, honey, T is not quitting YouTube. T is in such a mess right now. This move, to be honest with you, has been very trying on T. I, I hate to speak for her. Um, yeah, I don't know how much she wants me to share. I'm sure that she'll come on and, you know, I'll let her tell the stories. But um, today it was an air conditioning problem. So um, I'll, I'll let her kind of fill you guys in when she does come back to YouTube. But no, I talk to T two, three times a day. Um, she is just hustling like crazy, trying to um, get things situated because she's got to go back to New York City and she's got at least another truckload of inventory that they've got to bring back down again to South Carolina. Actually, they think they have two truckloads. They don't think they can make it all in a 26-foot truck. And they've already done a 26-foot and a 16-foot. So well, I'll put her email in the in the chat in case anybody wants to order something. Yes, you guys, please go support T. She really needs it. She has not been able to sell for two weeks. So when she gets back to New York, she does have um Oh, happy anniversary, Jim. That's wonderful. It's their anniversary today, 48 years. It's a long time to be married. Elizabeth, you guys are going to stop the rumors. T is not quitting. Pat D's. That's all Patrick. <laughs> I know. Pat, stop starting rumors. It's not true. If you could go and her... Her eBay store is down. 
but she is doing dance clothes. She's doing mystery lots. Um, want me to drop all the specials for her? Yeah, that would be great. Just be sure to email her if you want some of these. Yeah, she did get um, she did get an order. Um, she'd like some more. So T-Bolt. haven't seen T-Bolt for a long time. Linda, Linda, hello. T-Bolt's treasures. When I moved here to Florida from Indiana, I tried to find any way to transfer my stuff. So I shipped it, everything I owned to my brother down here. And then I got my van and drove. Yo, know, she's, she's already moved a 26 foot and a 17 foot box truck. Huge, huge box trucks. She's got so much inventory. You know, you guys remember she bought those five storage units. So, okay. Is there anybody that registered? Do I need to give out any wrenches? Let me look and see. Everybody here has a wrench. I saw a couple way, way back. I don't know if I can find them again. I know okay. one of them had registered, but there's Renee. They didn't say anything. Let's see who else was up here. No, I can't get back that far. That's okay. I think um, Julie's, Julie's or something was one of them. Somebody registered the other night and we didn't get them wrenched up. So they need to make a comment. Okay. If T, if T goes missing at C, Pat D's will come looking for you. I feel for T and moving been there too many times and in a week we're leaving spain and moving back to sweden wow oh my gosh now that's a move i don't mind moving i love moving my house i love moving my household but moving um moving a business like the type of business that we do is crazy okay wayne miller Yep. Oh, I shut down my uh, my Google Docs. Hold on, let me just pull it back up. Or we'll just take me a minute, you guys. My Gmail. I don't know why I closed it. I usually keep it open. All right. And there's a new face. I don't know that they're registered, though. Yeah, you're good to go, T-Bolt. Hello, Michelle O. KT Treasures, have you filled out the form? Have you registered? Yes, everyone give a thumbs up, please. Thank you, everyone. Oh, it signed me completely out. That is so strange. Huh. And Google did that. I don't know. Oh, you know what? My computer did a restart. So maybe that's why it signed me out. Log back in. I have to log back in, yeah. All right. Edger Frida, welcome in. Okay, let's see. Um, KT Treasures really scared when I have to move my reseller business. Going to be crazy, right? No kidding. All right, Wayne, you are all set. All right. It's easier to move than dust. <laughs> I really don't mind it. I don't mind it at all, honestly. Okay, you guys, thank you all for being here. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for saying hello. Thanks for being patient while I say hello. I know we see each other almost every day, but I still feel like when I see you, um, I want to say hello. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> thank you very much, Wayne. Thank you very, very much. Okay, I am going to go into my StreamYard and let's get started, shall we?
Okay, so this is my first lot that I have for you guys. This is all, um, this is a great lot if you like to sell smalls. These are all um, Playmobil. There's all kinds of um, nights, and we're going to start this at $25 shipped. Um, there's even the chariot. Um, there's all sorts of horses. Some of them have armor. Some of them don't. This must be a catapult thing. I don't know, but there's a lot of figures. Lots and lots of uh, figures. Some of them are missing their hats. Some of them are missing their armor. Um, but there's a policeman. They're cute. And um, I don't know how many horses there are, but there's quite a few. There's one, two, three, four. Here's another one of those. Oh, what is this? This doesn't look like it belongs in here. That's a cute little treasure chest. That's definitely, it's wood. It doesn't, it doesn't belong in there, but it's, it's still really cute. We'll leave it in there. I don't know if this belongs in there. Maybe it's missing its head. Some sort of dragon or something. This definitely looks like it belongs in there. Ooh, there's even a wolf with red eyes. All right, Beetlebug asks, what brand are most of them? Fisher Price or Play School? I think that, um, let me get my Donna loop. I think that they are, so they're 2004 and the brand name is G-O-O-B-R-A. I think that um, Playmobil had their own Playmobil brand. I don't think that they're like Fisher Price or anything like that. I think that they're just, oh, oops, sorry. I just took the thing. Here's one of the, um, one of the shields. <laughs> this would be any little boy's dream. And then there's lots of helmets in here. Uh, just a really nice assortment. This probably goes on, I would say, one of the horses. Yeah. I would think. Let me see. Of course, I don't. Oh, I was putting it on backwards. Yeah. So there you have it. And then ready for a fight. I know my boys would have loved these when they were little. This guy's missing his helmet. Here's a helmet. Let's try putting this helmet on him. Of course, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. There you have it. So, two big trays full. Oh, there's a pink one. Pink horse. This guy even has a beard. Look at this. Let me see if it focuses. Can you see it? Yeah, I see a lot of that on the Lego ones too. They have he has a beard. He needs yep. to shave. Really? Lego has beards too? Oh yeah, they, they have all kinds of facial features now. That is so funny.
Yeah, they're cute. Christine is coming. They're definitely there's Christine. Hello, Christine. What has this guy got? A cannon? This looks like a girl, or they just have long hair. Uh oh. There's a little bit of a delay. Looks like a girl. All right, let's see where are we at. Uh, Amy at 55. If you still have your registration up, we need to check one for KT Treasures. Hey, Dennis, do. Thank you, sweetheart. Carl Bach is in. Hey, Carl. Welcome in. All right. Hold on one second. Okay. What was the name? Uh, KT Treasures. KT Treasures. Let me look and see. KT Treasures. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, comment. Yep. Thank you, KT. Make a comment so that I can. Um, oh, the Flower Girl is here. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> I love your name, the Flower Girl. <laughs> Okay, there's KT. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, the Flower Girl, if you want to register, just follow the prompt on the screen for the... Um, hey, Denise. Mimi resells in the house. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Play school. Oh, Carl's on mute. He said, are they play school? Can someone write in that they're, um, maybe he meant to say um, Playmobil. Playmobil. Yeah. Playmobil. He must be someplace where he can't have sound. Yeah, tell him they're all Playmobil. Ooh, look at him. Nice colors. Must be uh, a religious uh, fellow there with the robe on. No idea. All right, should we close it? Yep, we'll go on once. All right. Amy's at 55. Awesome, Amy. I'm glad I didn't ship out your order today. Now it can do combined unless someone else comes in. guys and it's going to be sold to Amy sold 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 to Amy's attic for $55 lot number one okay hey Robert welcome in good to see you Zombie Bargain Hunter. I'll just put these two babies down here. And I'm going to show you 
something that I think is really awesome. Amy also says she has a gift certificate. Yes. Thank you, Amy, for mentioning it. Thank you so much. I'll apply it to both your purchases. I redeemed a lot of them today. Okay. So it's, it's a lot of, um, looks like all these beautiful international dolls probably purchased during, <coughs> excuse me, vacations. Um, we'll start them at 25, <coughs> excuse me. And we'll count how many there are. Um, this one looks like it's from probably like India or like Pakistan. Actually, a lot of them look like they're from either India or Pakistan and they're definitely vintage. They're definitely old. Um, you can even tell by the staples on them. The costumes are pretty awesome. The detail is great. They're really pretty. And then look at this one. Yeah, she's beautiful. And they're in excellent condition for the age. Excellent condition. Look at him. Oh no, he's missing a shoe. <gasps> oh. What a drag. Look at this. He's missing the shoe. Oh, that's too bad. Let me see if maybe it's in here. My daughter put these in here. <gasps> I found it. Yay. Oh, funny. Oh, my God. Uh, $2 increments, please, Patty. That would have been awful. There's yep. the shoes. There they are. But look at him. Wow, right? Prince of Arabia. These are so well made. Look at how well made they are. They're beautiful. Ooh, look at this one, you guys. She's gorgeous. Look at this costume. I will, Jim. Greek dancer, you think so? This one is Greek. And then look at another little prince. With the, the side eyes. Didn't they do that years ago? Those side eyes. And he's got his shoes. Thank goodness. I don't know. I don't know if these were purchased at like, like airports. I mean, I know when we used to travel back and forth to Italy, my parents would buy me these little Sicilian dolls that look like this. They may be little souvenir ones from, you know, long time ago. Does she have legs? She doesn't have legs. I, I think that she's just made that way. I don't think she's broken. I think she's just... Just sits on top of something. Yeah, just the upper body. And here's another prince. Oh my gosh, look at him with the long tassel. Oh, I love them. And then this one, is that all of them in the drawer? Yeah. And this one, check her out. I'm going to pull her on the screen with me because she is, she's beautiful. Um, her arms have have come disconnected from, I'm going to let you guys fix it. I'm not going to mess with that. This is the way she came. So her arms are disconnected from her torso. Um, I'll give you an up close. Of, let me see if she has a name or anything on her. I don't see anything. I don't see anything on her. But um, with her beautiful flowers in her hair. 
She's in excellent condition when you consider the age. Her shirt's a little untucked there. I mean, I don't know. What would you guys say the age was on these? You think that they're like 70s or, or pre-70s? You think they're... What would you say, Shrike? Boy, I have no idea about... She's even got little panties on. She's got her boots. Um, this is a little bit out of my field. She's hard plastic. Her hair is beautiful. It's like in perfect condition. Okay, so I'm going to put her back on the table and I'll show you. 1965. Oh my gosh, really? 1965. So they're 56 years old? And Susan's saying probably even older than that, 50s and 60s. Oh, really? I have no idea. So let's see. Let's put her there. How are the arms attached? I don't know. I don't have, um, I didn't, I, do, I don't know how to, here, let me put myself on screen. The arms are detached from the body, but um, let me see if I can figure out. I don't know how to take her clothes off, and I don't want to take her clothes off. To, um, I mean, look at, I got to show you guys this. Look at how this is. I got to show you how this is laced up. Her vest. Look. You see that? That's oh. going to take some work if that's the way it was put together. Yeah. No zipper in the back or anything? <laughs> no. There's no way to get to her. You're going to have to, like, play around and try to. They pretty much sewed her in it. Try to put, you know, her arm in the hole. But I probably wouldn't even do it. I probably would just leave her arms like that. Who would even know that the arms are detached from the torso? I don't know how you would get this costume off of her, is what I'm saying. Probably a rubber band that broke because they used to use rubber bands, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I would just I would just leave it. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even fiddle with it. I would just, uh, yeah, look at the ribbons and the tapestry ribbons on her. Someone went in, someone took a lot of time and a lot of care to make her outfit. That's very beautiful. Okay, so you get her, and then the little ones, you get one, two, um, three of the prints, and this must be maybe his mate, and maybe that's their mate, and perhaps that mate. So these are all, you got three couples, and then you have this beautiful lady with these two random girls. Yeah, and that's the whole... Uh, that's the whole lot, and it's uh, pretty amazing with this beautiful girl. Her eyes are blue. I don't know if you can see them. Very, very well taken care of. Very unique. And unusual. That is just a splash of color. All right, Patty's at a hundred. Thank you, Karen. All right, we're gonna call this dolls. We're gonna count it down. Christine it does not seem to be. She hates dolls. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. 
Patty loves them like I love them. And thank you, Karen. Right. Lot number two. Dolls. Okay. Congratulations. All right. I am going to show, because I know all of you are dying to see a purse. This is not a Lily Pulitzer, but it is a Lily Bloom. If anybody knows that name, let me show it to you on camera, and then I'll put it on the table. So this is a Lily Bloom. Um, there you have it, Lily Bloom. And it is... Um, still with those tags on it. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. Where do you want to start? Let's start it at 25. Um, the interior is pink. There's the bottom. Um, I don't think it's leather. I think it might be vinyl. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's vinyl. It doesn't smell like leather. And then it's got these two great pockets on the side. This is a really darling little bag for the summer. And then another pocket on the side. And then it's got the big main compartment in the middle. And it's nice because it has this pocket here, which is like perfect for a water bottle. Um, and then it's got the other pocket on the other side, which is perfect for your cell phone. And yeah, there you have it. It's a, it's a nice looking purse with um, butterflies all over it. Let me put it on the camera here and you guys can, can take a closer look at the pattern and it's eco-friendly. <laughs> Lily Bloom is what it's called. It is, isn't it? Jill, it's perfect for the summer. It's so pretty. Greg comes in at 40. Thank you, Greg. Heather comes in at 42. Thank you, Heather. Welcome to Disney's last latest attraction, the small world of purses. KJ. KJ's having a really hard time with the purses. Well, you've kind of slowed down on showing them, so it shouldn't be too bad. I have slowed way down until I can get to the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen tomorrow, and it's not going to happen on Saturday. I can tell you that right now because we have plans to get that front room all uh, kind of decorated. Tomorrow we're going to finish our shipping, and then Saturday we're going to spend the day kind of decorating Organizing a little bit more. Oh, patties. Yeah, people love butterflies. Junebug, she comes in at 48. Yes, we're sorry, patties. See, it's amazing how a little um, something can trigger, um, can trigger like memories. Um, when I uh, 
I hope nobody writes anything bad in the chat because I'm gonna share I'm gonna I'm gonna share a story with you. Last time I was sharing a story, a troll came in and said something mean. But anyways, um when I was at the pediatrician yesterday, they remember us because of um Denali's death and um the pediatrician had uh, misdiagnosed him. And I continued to go to that pediatrician um, even, even though she misdiagnosed him because let's face it, he had pancreatic cancer. So hi, Jim. Hello. Hello. So when I was there with the girls yesterday, it was, um, it was, it was hard, you know, it was really hard because, um, because of the severity of his disease and the rare and, and how rare it was and how we have such strong ties to the community, like just people just remember us and, and you know it's very rare that I can go in. And Palm Beach Gardens is a pretty big city, but it's very rare that you can go in and into a store, CVS, Publix, the pediatrician, and not run into someone that I know. And um, and so yeah, I mean his doctor had actually lawyered up on us, on my husband and I, when uh, she misdiagnosed him. Of course, we would never like take any kind of legal you know, she misdiagnosed him. You know, I, I think that she learned a really good lesson from, from that when a child comes in with elevated liver enzymes and yellowing of the eyes, don't just dismiss it as, you know, hepatitis C, which is what she diagnosed him at, as, you know, send that child to be scanned. There's something going on in that child's abdomen. I think she learned, I think she learned a, um, Pat D's hadn't seen her in 18 years. That's tough. I think she learned a really, you know, tough lesson. Okay, Junebug gets it for $48. So yeah, it's so back to, you know, triggers. It's like with me yesterday, it was just walking into a pediatrician office and everyone kind of looking at you like, that's the family, you know. Lily Bloom. But it was good. It was all good. They were all really nice. Most people have worked, those people have worked there for years and years. Congratulations, Joan. Okay, let's go get something else. I'll probably do a drop and stuff craft lot too today. Um Let's do, let's do this guy. Let's see who wants this guy. And there she is in all her glory. Let's see. Does she have good batteries in her? I don't know. Not really strong because her eyes are not glowing. Yeah, they're getting weak. Where do you want to start? I don't remember. I think it's I think the batteries are too weak. She's not going all the way up. I don't know where I'm supposed to touch her. <laughs> you have to look online. There's YouTube videos of how she works. Where are you going to start? 25. I wish she'd go all the way up. She goes, she gets so oh, she almost, she almost went. Jackie says to pat her head. Oh, 
Nope. Let's see. All right, let's see. I know you're supposed to rub her belly, rub her head. She's really awesome. And her wings and her eyes light up. I don't know. Did she fall asleep? I think your batteries are probably done. Yeah, she doesn't have strong enough batteries. <laughs> she may have just been asleep. <laughs> Anyways, she's really awesome what she does. It does it, girl Jill's laughing. She gets like four feet tall, right? I did a short with her, not with her, the one I the other one I sold her. Carl Bog is like, what's Donna doing? She's not she's not working. Her eyes are supposed to light up and She's supposed to go really, really tall. <laughs> Mara. Is Saxton okay? That's all I want to know. Because, <laughs> you know, she's been down in the tomato garden. <laughs> I wish she would go. Anyways, I'm going to I'm going to stop playing with her. You'll have to take my word for it. You can go back. I did a short video on I think the the other one I had may have been purple. This one is is pink. And um you you rub her belly and her head extends out like 4 feet tall, like 4 like at least 36 inches. You you wouldn't believe that there's that much extension in this neck. And the wings flap and the eyes light up. And she does have like a different, a bunch of different words um, that, that they use, that they communicate. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I often think about saving stuff like this years from now. It's probably going to be so valuable. Um, so what creature is it exactly? It's not a llama. It has wings. It's got a unicorn. Yeah. It's a unicorn. It looks like a llama. It has wings. It has like feathers, like a bird. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like a Furby, exactly, Beetlebug. And look at the Furbies now. How, how? Um, but you know, what are we gonna do? Like, hold on to everything for twenty years for it to become? I mean, people do it with coins and comic books and cards. They they call it. It's called a llama corn. Is it? Llama corn. Yeah, I mean, people do do that. They buy things and then just, you know, put them away until um, it's a make believe creature. <clears throat> but all of these animated, you know, toys, I'm sure, just think about it, you know, in 20 years. I mean, look at the toys that we look at that you know, were popular 20 years ago. And we look at them today like, oh my God, remember those, right? So it's like all the kids that grew up this generation will want to buy these 20 years from now because their parents got rid of them and it reminds them of their childhood or whatever. And and those are the people. I, I used to always, when I had my um, thrift shop, I used to always say that the nostalgic people were my best customers. Like when they came into the store and they saw something that reminded them of like their grandmother, their grandfather, their aunt, their mother, their childhood, they didn't care what the price was on it. They bought it. They just wanted it. It didn't matter. You know, it's a Hatchimal. Yeah, it is. They just bought it. So those are the um, those are the best customers. Is the nostalgic the nostalgic ones? I remember the Mrs. Beasley doll. Did I have a Mrs. Beasley doll? I don't know if I did. Oh, you remember having one in your from your childhood? Is that what she's saying? Probably. 
Yeah, I don't know what that would look like. Okay. Yes, she had one in her childhood. Yeah. Okay, we've got Lisa Irvin. For 41. Lisa, thank you so much and congratulations. For $41. Family Affair. I don't even remember that show. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that really well with... Um, with uh, the little blonde girl and the little blonde boy, I can't. Susie was her name, I think. I can't remember. I can't remember their. Um, I can't remember their names. Okay, let's do some Pokemon cards. I'll show you the stack. That's how many you get. And they are in excellent condition. Of course, you know the first question. The year. Yep. Hey, Dad. John. <laughs> Dad's vintage. Um, this one's 2020. Let me, put, let me put the second camera on so you can see. And I'll do the same. I'll show them, like, I'll show them, you know, four at a time. This one, for some reason, is in a sleeve. Um, let me look at some dates and then I'll just show them to you. 2017, um, 2020, this one doesn't have a date. Oh, 2019. So there's a mix. There's a mix. All right, I'll show you some of the ones that I have. All right, you might have to reposition your camera there. It's a little, can't see them when you put them down. Ah, okay. What's Mara saying? That guy from YouTube that fought Mayweather has a Pokemon card worth one million. Who's she talking about? Uh, some fighter. I don't remember who fought uh, Mayweather. But they've got the money to buy him. So. Who is it, Trika? Uh Some fighter. Oh. I don't recall who fought Mayweather. Oh, it's a fighter? Yeah, a boxer. Beetle bug back to studying. Boo. Someone's Logan Beetle. Paul. Bluegrass says Logan Paul. So what's he going to do with it? Wait until it goes to two million and sell it. How can a card possibly wor be worth two million dollars? Good question. Is there baseball cards that are worth that much? Uh, I bet there are. You think definitely, so? Def definitely comics are, so. I'm sure baseball cards are. There's comics out there that are worth $2 million? Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? Superman, Action Comics number one was way, way up there. Seriously? Here comes Karen. Karen, thank you, sweetheart, for the super sticker. You're so kind. Honest to goodness, you're so sweet. All right, so this is like boring to me. So a Babe Ruth sold for six million, Marilyn says. Wow. Is anybody interested in this lot? Because I'm not going to. We have one bid. Oh, we have a bid? Oh, okay. And you know somebody's going to jump in at the last second. Yeah, I guess they just want to see what's what's in the lot, what they're buying. But that doesn't mean you can't bid. <laughs> he may not be here.
what was that about two inches tall the stack um i would say maybe more hi shelly carl i'll show you the stack in one second Hey, Marilyn. Welcome in, honey. He came out of retirement for that fight and he made millions. Made a hundred million on that fight? My gosh. Wow. Mara, were you in the chat when I said thank you for the flowers? I don't know if you heard me. I don't know if you left. I don't think I have your own um, phone number anymore. But I, I have you on Facebook, but I don't have your phone number. So I couldn't call you and say thank you properly. She doesn't have it on her form? Oh, I didn't look. I don't know. Mara and I have been friends for years. I don't know what, um, I don't know. I had her phone number. I don't know how it, it's gone. Oh, thank you, Mara. Almost done, you guys. For those of you that are bored with this. You can knock my teeth out for that kind of money. I don't know. People say money doesn't buy happiness, but you know what? I disagree. Mm -hmm. I do disagree. Some of us aren't bored, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> right. Where were you when I was showing the pocketbook, Carl? <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> I didn't see you in the chat then. <laughs> Uh, I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty one there on the left. Yeah. That's a real pretty one. Okay, Carl, this is how many. Show that one up a little closer. I want to see that one. Okay. Yeah, look nice. Look at you with your nose right up to the screen. He's <laughs> <laughs> got his nose right up to the screen. I can see him in the back. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. It's all pink and sparkly. Yeah, right, Amy? Money can't buy happiness, but it can wrench <laughs> the crap out of it. No kidding. That's an X. What's an X? Oh, yeah, right there. E-X. Yep. Diane C-X. Does that mean it's good? I don't know. It looks pretty good. Jim says it's good. Uh, thanks, Mara. There she is. She has my phone number. Well, your number is easy to find. Oh, yeah. My number is wicked easy to find. Just do a Google search and my phone number is all over the internet. Or just click on show more and go down below. <laughs> 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 but I, I, used my, I used my phone number when I had my business. I used my phone number... I just always used, I've had this phone number. It's the only number I've ever had. I've used it for everything. So <clears throat> had this number for 16 years, 17 years, ever since we moved to Florida. Oh, Mara, thank you, honey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I change numbers after breakups, do you? Well, I haven't had a breakup my whole life, so <laughs> is that what I'm supposed to do if I if I ever do have a breakup? Change my number. <laughs> change your address, change your phone numbers, change oh, everything. Gosh. Well, I guess if you're if you're dating a um a weirdo. Yeah. You would have to do that. I'm gonna go get a little baggie to put these in. I'll be back. It's up to Greg and Carl. That's it. Waiting on waiting on Carl. All right, Carl, that's it. Greg is out. And I think that's the first time ever. Ooh, KP. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Carl's out. Wow. Snuck in from nowhere. No, they were in earlier. Were they? Yeah, they went out but came back. But not a total surprise. All right, let's call it. Let's call it, let's call it, let's call it. Thank you, Carl, and thank you, Greg. Thank you, gentlemen. And Holly and Ginny. And jo yeah, sorry. <laughs> That was lot number five. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations. I still have dibs on a couple of faucets. <laughs> you do, Carl. You still you still own a good part of my bathroom, honey. Don't you don't you worry. And KP has a gift certificate. I think KP has a pretty large gift certificate also. I don't remember. I haven't. KP hasn't. I don't think KP has bought anything. So thank you. Yes, KP. Thank you for saying that. <clears throat> All right. Donna, I used your Amazon link today. Did you, Mary? Thank you, honey. Every bit helps. I really appreciate it. Because I haven't advertised the Amazon links, but yeah, every every penny helps. So thank you. If you are buying things on Amazon, if you go in through my link, anything that you buy while you're in Amazon, um, I get a small commission. I mean, it's literally pennies, you guys, but it's still, who cares? It's still, every penny helps. I'm putting you on the screen, okay? And it doesn't have to be the item that you clicked on to get there. It can be anything in Amazon. Right. Exactly. That's for 24 hours. So anything you buy in that 24 hour period, you'll get credit for. Yeah. It's awesome. 
I've been trying to use them forever, but I can't ever beat Carl or Greg. <laughs> well, you did tonight. That's right. Everybody's sharing my birds. Oh, your birds? <laughs> oh, well, no, <laughs> but they're out there. They're just noisy tonight. Really? At nighttime, they're they're yeah. Here, oh, all the owls start up. Huh? You must live like out in the real like country, country. I wish I did. No. You, oh yeah, you said you lived more in the city. Yeah, it's in the city. Oh, he, oh, Jim has got his earbuds in. That's why he can hear it. Yeah, they're they're noisy tonight. Okay, I have a um, bundle of PlayStation. PS3 Wii games. I'll show you what I have. Um, Uncharted 3, and it does not have the book. I'm just going to put them on the table. Now, how many you have there? I don't know. Um, this one is Wii My Fit Coach, and it does have the book. And here's a PlayStation 3 Uncharted 2, and it does have the book. Yeah, I thought so too, Susan, but they, I hear them late, late, late in the night. I thought they slept too. Yeah. Little Big Planet Game of the Year edition, and it has the book. Oh, uh, you know, somebody wants that mother goose. You're going to wait and put batteries um, in that, though, right? It, so doesn't you have, properly. it doesn't have the batteries, Ken, right. but it's so awesome. Um, this is McGrath Supercross World PlayStation 2. It does not have the book. So you've got Wii PlayStation 2. This one is a PlayStation 3 Wally. -E. This was one of Denali's favorite movies. That's Wally -E with the book. Here's another Wii with the book, Active 2. Um this is active one with the book for we. And then we have board game collection, the ultimate we board game collection and Tiger Woods PGA tour. My neighbor Tiger Woods. Um, here is a straight up. We fit. This is the one that you use the board with the little, board on the bottom dancing with the stars for we must be like a karaoke dance one playstation 2 medal of honor rising sun no book in that playstation 2 um playstation 3 the bigs with the book PlayStation 3. Here we have Xbox Live. You skate. It does not have the book. And then we have Xbox again. Dance Dance Revolution Extreme 3. It does not have the book either. Xbox Madden 2004. It does have the book. Zumba for we and it does have the book. Yes, Karen. I think that is Eeyore back there too. It is right in the middle. Littlest pet shop for we and oh, there's more. This one's Assassin's Creed PlayStation 3. Where's the three pile? There it is. This one is PlayStation 3 NBA 2K9 Basketball. Is that one game, the sports game that became so popular, everybody was looking for it? Is that still real popular? Do you guys know that? Oh, yes. It's still very pricey. Is it? Yes. Huh. Xbox, I wonder if I have it. You'll know um, depending on how the bids go. <laughs> I know. I know I have another whole case of this stuff in that back room somewhere. Star Wars Lego Xbox. Um, that's Xbox. And then uh, the Xbox 360 Forza Motorsport. And it has the book. Okay. That's Xbox. So you get a nice little combination. It's a reseller lot, folks. 
Let me put this on. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. There's twenty-three games total. Twenty-three games total in this lot. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox, and Wii. Is that it? That's it. That's all that's here. But I'll have more for the future. Anthony comes in at 32. Doreen comes in at 36. Diva comes in at 38. Anthony's out. Jenny comes in at 42. Doreen is at 44. Jenny's at 46. Doreen's at 50. Okay, we have a fair warning. Doreen gets it for 50. Awesome. Thank you, Doreen. my next slot. And Doreen still has a gift certificate. Doreen has a gift certificate? Yep. Thank you. I will check Doreen. Thank you.
Okay. All right, fifty dollars. Doreen French. All right. All right, let's see what's in this lot. <clears throat> you have um, Cat in a Hat. They are all very well taken care of. Santa, Buddies, Veggie, Tails. Veggie Tales again. Veggie Tales again. Veggie Tales Easter. Veggie Tales Big River Rescue. The Smurfs Holiday Celebration. The Little Mermaid Platinum Edition. The Little Mermaid Ariel's Beginnings, The Little Rascals, Sleeping Beauty, one of my favorites, Shrek, Second Hand Lions, Princess Diaries, because you can get that... Um, that marker off with just even like a little squirt of perfume on it. Anything that has alcohol on it. And then here we have, oh, I know some of these. Mean Girls. Cinderella. This feels awfully light. Let me check and see if the disc is in here. <gasps> Do, do, do. See, I could feel just by the lightness of it. Uh oh, you guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're having, I just saw three of them in a row. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to check these. Hold on, bear with me. Let's open them all up. Okay, this one, Larry the Cable Guy, that's in there. The Blind Side is in there. Two Weeks Notice, Sandra Bullock, Hugh Grant. Hitch is in there. Forgetting, forgetting Sarah Marshall is in there. Monster in Law, it's in there. Wedding Planner, it's in there. Spanglish, it's in there. Um, One Fine Day, we're good. Wedding Crashers, RV. Vin Diesel, it's in there. Yes, that's in there. I think all of these were in there. I think they all had weight to them that they were all in there. Okay, I'm not going to open those up, but I'm going to get more to fill up those boxes. If you do come across one that's not in there, I'm sorry. I will replace it. I'll make good on it on your next lot. <clears throat> Tinker Bell's Lost Treasures. It's in there. Ice Age. It's missing one. 
so that's no good. This one, Game Plan, Walt Disney is in there. Snow Buddies is in there. The Rookie is in there. And Ice Age, The Meltdown, another great movie, is in there. I love Ice Age. Okay? You'll get them shipped in these boxes. This is how I found them. This is how you'll get them. The movies with the boxes. Two boxes full. And where are we at? Uh, we're at $30. All right. $30 it is. See what KJ has to say. All right. KJ comes in at 32. Okay, going twice out to Greg. Let's see. Greg came in at $35 for the movies. Awesome. Congratulations, Greg. Thank you, everyone that was bidding. Okay, let's do. Um, let's do this sweet little lady. I wish she was working. I did a. Um, I did do a video. She tells the whole Mother Goose story, you guys. She's so cute. Um, I've sold like three or four of those already. <laughs> they're um, they're darling. They're really really cute. Mother Goose. She tells the whole Mother Goose hickory dickory dock. And what else? There's like I don't know. It's like four or five nursery rhymes. Are we gonna start at twenty five? Yeah. Yeah. Let's start her at twenty five. Let's see. You could go pick up that video and play it. Oh, right. Will you do it? Will you do it for me? Uh, I can find it probably. I can't play it. You'd have to play it. Why? Why you should? You can share your screen. Huh. Okay. Well, I got a bunch of stuff on my screen. <laughs> okay. So Hold on. I'm going to try to find it at first. Let me see if I can do it. 
Don't get me started. I'm thinking Andrew Dice Clay. Amy, I think, you know what? Her batteries need to be changed. And if she doesn't work, I'll stand behind her. But um, if there's any leakage on the batteries, just clean the terminals with a little, um, with a little emery board. Um, yeah, she just needs her batteries changed. Okay, I'm gonna drop the link and they can click on it or you can click on it and watch it. Okay, wait a minute. All right, let me see if I click on it. Uh, wait a minute, I'm in the wrong. Okay, let me see what happens. If I go there, let's see. How can I share this so that they can see it? Uh, you'll just have to open it on another window and share that screen. Okay, let's see. Share. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this, guys. I already lost it. Where is it? There it is. Screen sharing was canceled. Make sure you click share. Okay, let me try this. Oops. Can you guys see it? Can you see it? Can you see a tracker? Yeah, it's in a small window, but it's there. He made it into a short, so it's not too long. Yeah, that's it. It's cute, you guys. It's really cute. And there you have her. Patty's out. Carl's like, oh my God, Jack and Jill. Yes, Jack and Jill. And she's really clean, great condition. There needs to be one that does the Dice Man. I don't even know what the Dice Man is. Susie's out. Let's see who's winning it. Patty's out. Karen is at 49. Went up the hill. Carl, I'm so slow. That would be awesome, Carl. Ozma gets it. <laughs> Whatever he's talking about. To fetch a pail of water. Mm, still don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. <laughs> Oops, he says. Okay, are we done? Are we done and done with this? Let's see. It's mesmerizing. Edge of Frida bought <coughs> the first one. <coughs> Christine's laughing at me. She's like, Donna, you have no clue. No, I have no idea what they're talking about. Sorry. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Did we sell it? Did we sell it? It's sold now. To Karen. Karen Bamberg. Thank you, Karen. Karen, did you ever figure out that um, I'll have to send you um, a message? <clears throat> Mother Goose. For $49. Okay. Who wants the second one? Karen gets first choice in case she does want to. She may have two child, grandchildren that she wants to give them to. If Karen says no, then it will go to whoever the next bidder was. Well, technically, Patty was at 47, but Susie came in at 50, so it wasn't quite the right bid. Okay. Karen, Karen, Karen wants, wants them both. <laughs> okay. Karen gets them both. One for the baby's house and one for her house. Oh, they're so cute, Karen. You're going to love them. Okay, let's do some comics. I'm trying to do a little bit of everything, you guys. Okay, here we go. Number two, Twilight Entertainment. Did you say Twilight Entertainment? I, I think so. <laughs> okay. Exper no, experiment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where my mind is. Well, it may mean the same thing in the end. I don't know. but <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Superman Action Comics. Um, Carl probably wants the number. 653 on this one. I need to put this on the table. It's too heavy. Okay. Um, this Superman is still sealed. Is this going to be a full lot double box? No, single box. Single box, half lot. Okay. Yeah. So do I just leave this sealed? Yeah, don't open that. Back from the beam, Adventures of Superman. This one is Marvel. Carl says you only need to do numbers on the older titles. Okay. All right. There you go. Thank you, Carl. Well, if anybody has a special request, if you want me to call the numbers on them, I will. Um, so like this one, is this considered older? Marvel Comics, 40 cents, number two. I would say anything under a dollar would be considered older. Okay, here's another 40 cents, number three. Here's another number four. Hi, Kim Murphy. Welcome in, honey. Good to see you. Superman, the Metal Men action comics. Um, the West Coast Adventures, 65 cents, number three. Um, who's Who? Um, Dial H for Hero. 
60 cents, 487. Um, 75 cents, number five. Uh, the Web of Spider Man, uh, number 94. X Men, 60 cents, number two. The Mighty, um, I don't know, number three. Thor. I don't know what number that one is. This one is 493. This one is number four. And number four as well. I don't know. This one is... Popeye. And then number 11 on that one. And then we've got Spider Woman. And Spider Woman again, number 37. The House of Secrets, 35 cents. Aqu Aquaman, 12 cents. Batman and Aquaman. 12 cents. Godzilla, King of the Monster, 35 cents. <clears throat> we have one sexy mama on that one. And number two on this one. Number one on that one, here's a Thor. Here is a number two, a number three, a number 20, <clears throat> a number 16, a number three. Um, <clears throat> I don't see a number on that one. Here's a number 48. 21. These are in great condition, even though they're not in sleeves. Number seven. Hey, Kathy. I was wondering if you got your box yet. I did get a box from the house, but it didn't have a return address on it. I wonder if it's yours. Maybe I'll open it. Number five, I have it here. Number two. Number 17. Number 19, number 39, number 176, number 20, number 29, number 44. This one's really pretty. Number th 300. 281. This one's real pretty too. 82. Number 40. Number one. I don't know. I do like shiny things, Kathy. You're so funny. <laughs> Number 15. Number 176. 
Well, Kathy does too. I see you're buying a lot of silver. She yes. has a collection. <laughs> 79. Doctor Strange number seven. Number 34. Number five. I don't know. Number two. Number 281. And number 65. This one is, I don't know. Sorry, Frank. Desert Girl beat you in by a second there. Um, I don't know what that one is either. This one is number 59. This one is number 40. The Hardy Boys. 15 cents. 55 cents. Number 24. And number seven. And that's the whole lot. Steve, judgmental care. Hi, hi, Shriker, and all you other shiny. What did he say? All you other shiny people. Can I see the Avengers on top close? This one here? It's not gradable. It's got a couple of chunks missing, Carl. That is called chipping. I call it chunks. The chips sound better, though. Chunks makes it sound like a big piece is gone. Frank is out. Who's in? Steve? Steve's at 125. And now Desert Girl. Thank you, Desert Girl. Thank you, Steve.
Um, so Steve, you, you've gotten enough comics. Like, you know, the, the, um, usually I send them in two lots. So it's a half box. So it's probably just over a hundred. Probably just over a hundred, I would say. I don't count them. I just I fill the box to till I can't fill it anymore because the ones that have boards and bags. Um, oh, Carl! The ones that have boards and bags less fit in a box, of course. <laughs> Was such a troublemaker. Yeah, just pull one out and tell him this was the third one. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, some of these old marbles are nice. Too bad they weren't better taken care of, right? Like this Doctor Strange. I think that's what um I think that's what um <clears throat> um Dominic said. Is that what Dominic said last night, you guys in the chat? That this is what he is this what is this the the uh comic that he collects for himself, the Doctor Strange one? Can't, I can't remember what he said, but I think it was, that's what he said. And then he was also talking about um, uh, that Mark Jewelers. Did you have a chance to look that up by any chance? No, I didn't. Yeah, something about Mark Jewelers putting a like four page advertisement. He was on the nurse flipper. He was talking about comics. Um, putting a, a four page advertisement in comic books. And if they have, he is a doctor. Um, if they, if they, that that is hot set right now. Is it Dr. Strange? <clears throat> He said that if there was a um, an insert that said Mark's Jewelers on it, does anybody else know about this? Um, that it's like really sought after amongst comics, comic book collectors. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about comic books. So I was trying to pay attention to learn. Oh, yes. Yep. They did the ads and just a few runs. So it's limited. Just an ad inside. Yeah. Mark's Jewelers. Okay, Steve, it's up to you. They put their ads in about 20% of the runs. Yeah, he was talking about that during his during the show last night. Nose picking. I got your email. Thank you, nose picking. Sell it. Sell it to who? We're going to sell it to Desert Girl. Desert Girl. What did she bid? Uh, she's at 160. 160. No speaking for the um for the shipping. How much was the shipping on that? I have this hat I was going to send you. Oh, I think that's what he's talking about. All right, Jill. Thank you so much. 
Congratulations. Donna, you got my 200 out yet? Your 200 what, honey? I have that big, huge dibble box I got to send out to you. Your fabric. Um, thank you, Jill. Nope. I haven't gotten that out to you yet. Is that what you're referring to? I don't know what the 200 is. Okay, let me set this up. Okay, sorry. I was stuck on the table lug. Okay, let's do a set of these. Let's see what we got here. Yes, the co that cost I've been looking for. Um, Susan, just text me. I don't know what that means, the 200 and the cost. Okay, this is absolutely adorable. Salt and pepper shakers. They're... Um, nautical ones really cute they're definitely vintage let's see if they say anything on the bottom they're not they're made in china yarmouth maine oh my gosh they looked vintage to me but they're so cute very nautical uh read uh, nose pickings line there shipping was 2850 crossed just about every zone in the u.s you can please apply my credit to karen's mother goose 2850 for the two pocketbooks okay that's fine oh, i thought you were just gonna forward them wow that is a lot of money hmm okay I will apply the credit to Karen's Mother Goose. Apply your credit to Karen's Mother Goose. So he's gifting the twenty-eight fifty to Karen. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, that's the way it sounds. Okay. Twenty-eight fifty credit from. Nose picking. Okay. All right, nose picking. Thank you for taking care of that for me. Okay, so here we have Mrs. Pepper. Oh, okay. Oh, it would have been fine. But thank you so much for taking it, taking care of it for me. And here we have Mr. Salt. What is it you think those are? Is that a bird? I have no idea what those are. I have no idea, but they're big. And the salt and pepper shakers are inside there. Tiny little vials and a big animal, whatever it is. I have no idea what that is. But they are strange. That's so nice of you, Nose Bacon. Thank you so much for doing that for me. I'm sorry about the mix up. It happens. Okay, this one is taped together. Let's see if we can see what it says. Formalities. Holly Collection by Strum Brothers. This one they taped together. It's a sled with two presents. Formalities. These. Something London. 
it's got the corbel blue. Is that blue? No, I can't tell if it's blue or green. Yeah, they look like aliens. She's right. Here's a set. It's like old stoneware. They're pretty heavy. Couple of lighthouses. This one must be newer. It doesn't have it doesn't have a um a sticker on it but it looks like they're newer it's santa claus with the sled salt and pepper shakers okay shaker take your time these are plastic. Don't know if they're old. They kind of do with that stopper. Hi, Sandra Killian. And then you've got a star, star and stripes. And next we have these. Oh, okay, Susan. Thank you. They're um, seagulls. A couple of seagulls. And next we have these are marked FWC. FWC. There's one and there's two. And <clears throat> these are marked. <coughs> Let me look. Hi, Lisa. Hi, honey. Welcome in. HMK Incorporated. And it's little Mr. and Mrs. Santa. HMK is what they're marked underneath. And then here's another one of those vintage Florida um, the gator ones where you push the button. Oops. You push the button and the salt comes out from the bottom and they work. So there's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. And these look I don't know. More Christmas ones. I think they look kind of newer also because of the stoppers. You can kind of tell by the stoppers if they're new or if they're old. So that's it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen sets of salt and pepper shakers. And Ozma is at $25. And I think I have maybe two sets left and that's it. And I am done with the salt and pepper shakers. That was a lot of salt and pepper shakers.
Ozma would like to see the bottom of those uh, alien ones, I believe. Were those the Mr. and Mrs. Salt? The which ones? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Salt, she said. Is that the wooden, the strange alien ones? This yeah. one? Nothing down there. Nothing. Mrs. Pepper, Mr. Salty. It should be Mrs. Salty and Mr. Pepper. And Nancy would like you to put the star on the left side of the stripes. Okay, sorry. There. That's the way it should be. I wasn't thinking. I apologize. Looks much better that way. Yes. yes. I just was placing them down on the table. I wasn't thinking of the patriotic um, significance of it, but she's right. <clears throat> All right, Holly's at 27. Should we sell them? Should we sell them? Oh, Anthony came in at 30. I didn't see Anthony sneak in. The star fits into the puzzle. Oh my gosh, look at how smart they are. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty sharp now. That's great. I had no idea, you guys. Look at that. That is so cute. Love that. Flip the stripes. I can't, that's the way it goes. What is she saying, flip the stripes? Uh, you already did it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Those are so cute. East Coast comes in at 35. Have you ever checked on It's All Goods? Um, it's All Goods. Let me check. Yes. yes, it's perfect. And Osmo would like to see the other weird creature back there. Sure. sure. Let me just give it's all goods a wrench. Thank you for registering. Wow, look at you guys with the thumbs up tonight. Awesome. And I didn't even have to ask. I just looked at my YouTube. Okay, the other weird one. Which other one is the weird one? Uh, the, the tall one's the back. She wants to see the bottom of the, the white one. The bottom of this one? No, the aliens back there. There's no other aliens. Oh, the bottom of the brown one. She wants to see the other one. The oh. other one. Yeah, the, the one on the right. Hold on, these? Right. Oh, okay. Didn't we just show the bottom of these? Uh, you showed the, the bottom of the brown one, but she wanted to see this one also. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no signature, there's no nothing on them. Is that writing down there on the very edge? I just saw it. Yeah. It looks like it got covered up with the glaze, though. Yep, there's writing on it. There's for sure writing on it, but it's got it's covered up with the glaze. I'll show you. Hold on.
There's numbers and writing. Let's check the bottom of the other one and see if it's visible. I don't see anything. I don't see anything, but this one has writing on it for sure. But I can't, I can't make it out. I mean, not even close. I can't make it out. Look. You're just going to have to bird Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. Maybe look them up that way. And see if you know you can find them that way. Hello, Miss Martha. Miss Miss T is not here. Angry flying saucers on pedestals. I have no idea. If it was what I thought it was, it would be a it would be large on the bottom. Oh, I don't know. There's nothing on the bottom. Just a little bit of writing under the glaze. Well, that's a little odd, isn't it, that they'd cover up all of that information? I know, right? Well, I have um, two Lennox lamps. They're absolutely beautiful. I know they're Lennox because I bought them from an estate and they told me they were Lennox and they're not marked. They, they were made, the Lennox were made and then they were shipped to the factory and made into lamps. So it doesn't, it says Lennox on the bottom of the lamp, but it doesn't say it like to look at it. You can't see it anywhere because it's under all the mechanisms of the lamp. Actually, I just, I have it right here. I'm gonna show it to you guys. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the lamp. Um, <clears throat> it's really dusty. And it's a Lennox lamp, but it's not marked anywhere because the marking is underneath this piece. It's two pieces. It's underneath this piece and it's underneath this piece um, is where it says Lennox on it. That looks very Lennox though. <laughs> It's beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. I have two of them. I mean, it definitely has that distinctive style that Lennox. Yeah. 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 They're gorgeous. Um, I probably, I don't know if I'm going to put them on eBay or David Gill Pottery. Oh, did they find them? Yeah, it looks like Nora may have. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to put these on um, eBay or because I, I don't want them, even though they're beautiful. I, I don't want them. I have a pair. They're going to be really expensive to ship, but they're, they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, but it's all, the, the base is all, that's all metal. It's a metal base. No plastic here. Um yeah, so I have to decide what to do with these. And look at how old they are. Put the plug on them. They're old lamps. They're beautiful. And I've got a pair. <clears throat> Which makes them even more valuable because, you know, a lot of the times they break. 
Oh, you have a Lennox lamp also, Kim. They're so pretty. Why is nose pick insane? Oh my God. What's wrong, nose picking? So who who's winning the salt and pepper shakers? Heather MC just won. Okay. Heather MC for 47. All right. Everyone's really on that thumb tonight. Thank you, everybody. That's nice to see. I know, right? That was so nice to see when I saw that. Holy cow. Okay. Put that there. Let me just mark it. And it is lot number 10. Okay. Let's do a plush lot. Let's do a plush lot. Um, this is really cute. You know. Just say Tim for your Christmas special. Right? I should have. I'm sure you'll find some over for them. But he's awesome how he's, he dances around like that on one foot. Yeah, he's skating. He's so cute. Oh, thanks, Frank. Yeah, I think they're great too. Okay, so that's going to be your first item. I'm going to do a nice big plush lot. Yes, congratula congratulations, Heather. Okay, the next one is going to be this. Um, he's it's a it's a build a bear. It's a My Little Pony, but the hair is a little bit matted. I think if you use um, um, hair conditioner, you can, you know, brush this out. So she is, I'll tell you if they're like brand new or if they need a little bit of care, she does need a little bit of care. She needs a little bit of cleaning. Okay. Next is going to be this little Disney piece. That's guys help me with that. Who that is. Um, this is a Yomoko classic. It's actually a really beautiful piece. Very realistic. Very realistic deer. All right. And next we have it's P.S. Aeropostale. It's a bear. And we're going to do that little T.Y., this little T.Y., this little T.Y., this Atlanta peach tree little T.Y., this souvenir, it says. It's a moose. This emoji creations banana is going to go on it. And Pluto is vintage. You can see the tag that he's vintage. He's got his name written on him. He's got some black here. He's got some red here. I, if I was listing him, he's made out of nylon, like parachute material. 
I would use a magic eraser and clean him right up. I think he would clean up no problem at all. This one is a Gans, and it's adorable. It's a bumblebee teddy bear. Look at that. It's so cute. Whoops, there goes the reindeer. That's really cute. And this has a little angel pin on it, um, on the ribbon. And it's the big tie label. So I would look him up. He might be something valuable. This one says property of King Island. It's a teddy bear with a hoodie. He's really cute. Here is a overstuffed monkey by Build-A-Bear and he's like fat. He's so overstuffed. Here is a piece called a snow bear. And he's cute. We'll put him back there. And let's see what else can I throw in there. Here's another Build-A-Bear with no clothes on. I think that's it because that's all I can fit in one bundle. That's quite a few pieces. Okay, Susan, I got your message, honey. I'll get that right out for you tomorrow. Oh, okay, Heather, thank you. Oh, yep. Yeah. Heather scored. <laughs> Good for you, Heather. Someone just sent me a picture of those salt and pepper shakers. Uh, the alien ones? Yes. Yep. Yeah. They're very valuable. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's fine. That's what I'm here for so that you guys can make money. You know, I'm not going to list them. <clears throat> Steve, that is a big bunch of stuff. Holly, thank you. $43. Diva, thank you so much. That is that is a big, massive lot. Um, if the price goes up enough, I'll keep adding and send it up, send it out into two lots.
Oh, is KK still on the chat? I haven't seen her for a while. Kathy, are you still here? I just opened it up, the box that I got. This is, what, this is what she made me, Donna's Cottage. Hold on, oh, I'm not even on the screen. Here, I'll show you. It says Donna's Cottage. It's so sweet. Here's a little special sign for your cottage. KK, are you here? I don't know if she's listening in the background. And then I ordered these. Um, did I tell you my kids are starting a rock band? <laughs> what are their instruments? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what are they playing? <laughs> the girls are playing ukuleles. <laughs> right. <laughs> And Massimo, I think, is playing the electric guitar. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm uh, not sure. Oh, no. I'm uh, not sure they've been practicing. Uh, are you the drummer? I'm not in the band. <laughs> so I thought these would be cute for uh, for their band. Kathy's Corner, it says on it. It's um, It's her logo. So I hoarded those from her for yeah. the kids. I don't know if these will fit them though. That's a neat image. Did she uh, design that herself or did she get somebody else to do that? I have no idea. I don't know if they'll fit though. They look kind of small. We'll try. <laughs> I don't know if she's here, but thank you, KK. She's so sweet. Donna's Cottage, so pretty, all swirly. It's awesome, so thoughtful. And then a bunch of stickers. Yeah, they're cute, right? Okay, here you go. I should have opened it when she was in the chat. I forgot. Okay, where are we at? Oh, I got up to go get a bucket to put them in. Where are we at with this bundle? Uh, sixty-six dollars. Okay. Waiting to see if it's all good wants to come back in. So you get this. This one here seems like it might be a special one. So you get one, two. Yeah, definitely would look that one up. Three. This one's beautiful. Very realistic. Vintage Pluto is four. Uh, he's the best one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't close it yet. Twelve. Hold on one second. You're gonna get all those too. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> What's that, a gecko? Yeah. Cute little puppy dogs. Some other kind of lizard type thing. These cats. 
There's a litter. Cottage cats. This one's adorable. It's so cute. Elizabeth. Elizabeth doesn't miss it. Snoop, Snoopy's the best. He's awesome. I don't know. That bee bear was a fan favorite. Was it? Yep. Gotta be happy. All right, plush lot. Holly's at 81. Well, since you're at 81, 86, you're also going to get that Build-A-Bear, that Mickey Mouse, this Minion, and that Tigger. And this dragon. And this bunny. It's not really a bunny. It's, it's Spider-Man. Or is it Spider-Man dressed up as a bunny? I don't know. But it's a Build-A-Bear. Dressed up as a Spider-Man. And that will go out in two lots now. Those are some really good ones there. Yeah. Look at this one. I bet that Spider-Man does really well. Is that a beaver? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> we, should, we should have sent that to beaver. I didn't think of it. Yep. I didn't even know it was a beaver, to be honest with you. I have no idea what this is. Uh, Alexis uh, Walrus, maybe? I have no idea. It looks like a lion. Yeah. With a weird body. I have no idea what that is. Mm 
judgment, Carrie. You already have the bid at 96. You don't have to go to 100. I'm adding more. Are those turkeys? Yep. Turkeys. Christmas bears. Ostrich. A shrimp lion? I've never heard of a shrimp lion. What the heck is a shrimp lion? <laughs> She needs new batteries. She's coming to your house too. She works, she just needs new batteries. That's as far as we're gonna get out of her. Come on. Come on, baby, sing. Sing, sing, sing. Nope, she's not going to sing. She's throwing all her plush in tonight. No, she's not singing. All right, did we close on it? No, no, not yet. Why? We still have a few interested people. That's it, we're done. Let's close on it. All right, we got judgment care at a hundred. Unless Holly wants to come back in real quick, or Susie. Oh, the zombie said he just sold that dragon. Awesome, zombie. Zombie knows when zombie when zombie speaks, people need to listen. Yep, he sells a lot of plush. Oh my gosh, it's his whole entire his whole entire thing is is plush. It's crazy, and he's even bought plush from me. Oh yeah, a lot. <laughs> I know. Well, that last lot he bought, I gave to him as a gift for winning the um, the challenge. Oh, right, right. That was the one that had that awesome uh, talking orca or whatever it was. Yeah, I know you've seen him a couple of pretty expensive ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have. He's Come on, zombie. zombie. Can you really ever have enough plush? Well, he buys when he sees something very unusual that he hasn't come across. Right. Like he like he'll never he'll you'll never see him uh, bid on a Sea World Orca. <laughs> <laughs> they right. hate him. Okay, let's see. Did Steve go out? Who's getting it? Holly? No, Judgment. Steve's still in? Judgment. Holly went out. Yeah. Okay. Lot 11. 121 to Steve. There's some nice pieces in there, though. Yeah. They definitely are. All right. Did we sell it? Sold. Sold, sold, sold. <laughs> it's a nice fun with you. It's a 
All right, let's start this one at 20. Can you do a short with this one? What? Can you do a short video on this one? No. No, I didn't do a short video on it. I haven't had time to do, I haven't had time to work on videos. You must have showed him before then, as I remember him. Yes, 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 I sold one before. Yeah, I sold one before. My kids would have loved this when they were little. Hello, baby. Where are you? Where are you? Looks like Amy's going to take it for 20. Lisa comes in at 22. Hello, baby. Peekaboo is the most fun with you. <laughs> Where did you go? Peekaboo, I found you. <laughs> Amy's out. Susie's in at 26. Again, again. Let's keep playing. Lisa, let us know. Heather Blackwell comes in at 28. Oh, that's okay, Amy. Should I make it a more than a one-off? Well, you're all out of plush, right? So you probably couldn't do that. I'm out of plush? <laughs> I don't think that's possible. <laughs> I don't think that will ever be possible. Uh, he might need a partner. You think he needs a partner? I don't know. Susie, does he need a partner or is he traveling alone? She might just want him just for him. Maybe. Ah, uh, Shopaholly's like, bring it. Uh, okay, Susie says yes. All right. Whoa, there's a good partner. He's awesome. Yes. This, this Dumbo is the nicest looking Dumbo. <laughs> right? Robert, it's like saying that he's out of plush. Yeah. It's uh, definitely not ever going to happen. And how about E or two? E or he's really scruffy looking. I I don't know if he needs a bath or if just the way he is, but he is pretty scruffy looking. But he does have his tail. Um, he's got his little bow. But you may have to throw him in the washing machine, guys. <laughs> 
There's Eeyore and Dumbo and the Peekaboo Bear. Uh-oh, why Shelly saying, oh, brother? I don't think she's impressed. Uh-oh. What does that mean, she's not impressed? Maybe she needs to see somebody else. Always room for Elmo. Yeah. Yeah, I think Eeyore needs a bath or a brushing. I don't know. If this part oh, of him. That's what she Shelly says. That's what Eeyore says. Oh, oh, bother. Oh, brother. Oh, oh, bother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's funny because this part of him is nice and fluffy, and this part of him looks all like scruffy looking. So I don't know what's going on with him. I think Holly wants to see some TYs. Okay, coming right up. Cats. Turkeys. I agree, Lisa. I think your llama corn needs a friend too. Um, Christmas bears. Iguanas. And frogs. Okay, wait a minute. The uh, let's see. Um, where is it, Lisa? Okay, Lisa. I'm gonna add some friends. Add friends. There so, you go, Lisa. There you go, Lisa. You're gonna get some friends with your with your weird thing that you bought. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> it's got to have a name. <laughs> Donna is the beanie queen. <laughs> so long, kitties. <laughs> She's saying cats being sold all over. <laughs> this is a great lot. This is a great lot. You get this awesome, awesome, awesome peekaboo bear. Which is so adorable. It's got a little bit of, bit of pen on it. Hi, Douglas. Where am I? Here I am. And you got Eeyore. Again, again. Let's and this is just amazing. This is the most beautiful Dumbo ever. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's like velvet. And he has his tags on him. Yeah, you didn't show him off very well. No. No. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Yeah, this is a nice lot. <laughs> All right. Oh no, reminds me of, oh no. <laughs> oh, Mary, stop.
Christine. Christine loves to tease Elizabeth about the cats. <laughs> the cats, my granddaughters love. Mia has a gray striped one. Aurora has a yellow striped one. Oh, that's what I have here is my cottage cats. Chapel Holly is out. And who do we have in? Susie, I think. Heather yeah. is out. Susie and Annie. Heather is out. Make sure we got everybody. Is it Steve? All right, let me see what else I can add to get my extra Benjamin. My goals, goals, goals lock. That's what we call it. Let's see what I have here. Hold on. Hold on, folks. She's going to get more. It has to be really special, though. Let me see. Let's see this bag. This one's awesome. And then I got one awesome one. Up with this guy. Let's see, 1996. Let's look at this guy. Okay. He's gonna go in. He's huge. He's yeah, what is he? He's part of the minion people, I think. I think so too. Oh, he's a backpack. Oh. You better look inside. He's a backpack. And it says on it, Despicable Me. But there's nothing, there's nothing in him. He's just a minion, a purple minion. And then this one, let's see what this one says. This one says Sergeant Express 1986. And it's got, see, this is what I'm looking at. And it says Sergeant Express 1996, New York. Is that from the Express stores, maybe? I don't think so. It's got a mechanism in them. Let's see if it's got a, it, it has a mechanism in them, but it's not like attached to anything. I don't know how it would turn on. There's no wires. It just kind of sits inside of here. Mm -hmm. um, a little odd. Yeah, there's no buttons or anything. And it's not attached to anything. Made in Korea. I don't know, you guys. You'll have to do some research and see what this is all about. I have no idea. <laughs> Christine. He's cute. I don't know what his story is. I don't know what he is, but 1996, he's vintage. Was it 86 or 96? 80. 86. No, he doesn't squeeze. You'll have to do some research on him. I don't know. Wires are broken off the little hole. Yeah, that's what I thought. The wires came out of that hole up inside the bear. And they got jerked out or something, maybe. There's nothing. There's nothing there. No. 
there's nothing here. No there's holes for wires to go through or anything? Nothing. There's just a clean sack. Yep. And there's no turning on. Is this the hole he's talking about? No, on the end. There's a hole on the end there. Where the batteries are? Yeah. Hey, that wouldn't make sense for wires to come out the battery end. Needs to be cleaned. Yeah. There's a little bit of acid in there. See it? It's not too bad yet. No. Evil any. Hey, Evil Lenny. I think it's a voice recorder too, but but how? Well, it would just activate when it heard sound. Well, I guess if somebody wants to look it up, look up yep. this Sergeant Sergeant Express nineteen eighty six. New York, New York, made in Korea, designed by Sergeant Express. Maine, uh, Massachusetts. I imagine it's worth something. I don't know. Shake it. Well, it needs new batteries. Yeah, and it's not going to work right now. Yeah, it needs new batteries for sure. So it's a mystery. I don't know. Someone will figure it out, but it's you can see how well made it is. So it must have been it must have been pretty pricey, because look at how well made it is. Yeah. And it was very well taken care of for being as old as it is. Looks brand new to me. Almost giving it the eye. <laughs> He's like, move over, bud. All right, that's it, you guys. That's the whole lot. Okay, we're going to go to Susie. All right, I'll throw this one in, too. This is a Dakin. It's adorable. It's a panda with the baby, and it's Dakin. Dakin has got a nice following. Ciao, jump here. It's a vintage Dakin for sure. Voice recorder on eBay for a nice sum. Oh, you found it? Denise, you found it's a voice recorder? She must have found it. All right, it's going to go to Susie for $90. So that's what it is. It's it's a voice recorder for the um, it's a voice recorder for that type of teddy bear. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what she's saying. Sold, sold, sold to Susie for ninety dollars. Awesome deal, Susie. Okay. Susie will figure it out. Susie will figure it out. Susie, let us know. Hi, Turtle Trader. Hello, Mr. Turtle Trader. Bacon soda and water, old toothbrush to clean up leaky battery corrosion. Corrosion, awesome. I I used to use a little emery board. Well, you can still do that, but it's good to get all the stuff you can't reach very well back in there with the toothbrush. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I just used an emery board whenever I came across some that needed to be a little bit um alcohol and a little emery board yeah with a q-tip yep. and they cleaned up fine and they always worked they make them to last they make them to work very rarely did i have some that um 
that didn't work well for me. Okay, so that was a peekaboo lot. It's going to Susie. Lot 12, 99, Susie. Okay, so I'm probably going to say good night because I have 15 minutes to eat dinner. Before midnight? Yeah, because I have to have a blood test tomorrow morning. So I can't eat after midnight. Donna, I received those cards. Hmm, what cards? Frank, I haven't had any grapes because the last time I went to the doctor, they told me that my blood sugar was high. So I had to go, I have to go tomorrow for my three month follow up. So I've been laying off the grapes. I don't know which cards. I can't remember what cards he bought. Oh, the Pokemon cards. Oh, good. Yay. Good night. So I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'll talk to Schweiker. Um, I know, right? I'm going first thing in the morning. The girls are coming here in the morning. We're going to finish up the shipping, um, get this stuff all out, and I'll talk to Schweiker. We're going to go live. Um, can you do another purse? I don't have any of the like really expensive purses. I just have these bearers. Karen, you probably want one of the really nice expensive coach, right? But I did I find, I did find mm -hmm. this. I'll do this last one. All right, it's up to you. You want to bid on it closed or you want to want me to open it? I haven't opened it. That pasta and pizza, I know. Hi, Thelma. Started at 10? Started at 10? Yeah, let's see what happens. She needs to eat. I know, Doreen, I know I'm going to go eat. Karen wants me to open it. <laughs> Elizabeth, <laughs> Christine, be behave. <laughs> I will, Jill. I'm going to go eat. I have to eat. I haven't eaten anything. Okay, I'm opening it up. That's probably safer. Remember the last one that we didn't open <laughs> yeah. was a planner instead of a wallet. Right. They were thinking it was a wallet. Oh, it's adorable. It's just a little pocket change keychain. Hold on. Let's see if the price is on it. Got the it's got the tag on it and fifty eight dollars fifty eight dollars it's a little brown leather keychain that's a nice interior yep nice colors ten dollars start if anybody wants it it's adorable it's a little coach I know, right, Jill? I don't know what I'm going to have. I'm going to have to look in the refrigerator. I might just have some broccoli. I might just have some steamed broccoli. We'll see. Doreen is at 15. Is it black or brown? Brown. It's brown. It still has the um the paper on the um hardware. You saw I just opened it. Elma's asking where T's at. T is um Evil Lenny. It does, I know. It's good. <laughs> T's in South Carolina and she is preparing to head back to uh, New York City over the weekend. And she's got to load up one more, maybe two more trucks and then head back to South Carolina, which is her new home. I don't know why that happened. Eva didn't even touch anything. I see it, it happens everywhere. Yeah. Brad is out. 
And we're at 30 right now with Karen. Okay. Mr. Turtle Trader, I sent you your gift from little K today. Um, I don't know if I sent you an email, but you should have gotten notification from Pirate Ship. Patty comes in at 32. And Karen comes in at 35. Patty's out. Karen's going to get it for $35. It's adorable. Hopefully next week, you guys, I'll be able to dig out that stuff. Trust me, I want to dig it out too because I need to sell it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Turtle Trader. Okay, it's 35 and it's going to Karen. All right, Karen, I will invoice you tomorrow on that. And let me put my friend Schreiker back on. I don't know what time tomorrow. We'll see. I'm probably going to, um, the girls will be here, so it will be good. Maybe I'll put Angelina on camera again. Do you ever get, excuse me, silver coins? Very rarely. Very, very rarely. And Brad, since I haven't really been buying storage units lately, because I have this, this Palm Beach contact, she cleans out houses. Um, and she's, I, she's found everything from Star Wars to designer clothes to pocketbooks to the craft lots. And she's keeping me really, really busy. She, Shopaholly says after five. All right, honey. Um, she's keeping me really, really busy to the point that I don't really need to buy storage units. Um, and to be honest with you, down here in Florida, buying storage units, unless you're inside a facility that's air conditioned, to buy outside storage units is brutal. I mean, it is so brutal. I've done it. I mean, you've had coins. You had some a few months ago. So they do come along. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while, but not not very often. Not very often. I mean, watch. She'll call me tomorrow and be like, I got someone's coin collection. Are you interested in it? Yeah. So send, send good vibes my way, Brad. <laughs> good night, Nora. Thank you so much, honey, for saying that. Awesome, Evil Net Lenny. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here and um, joining us. We appreciate it. Go eat. I will. I am so hungry right now. I've got like five minutes to eat. No, if I go over a few minutes, it's fine. <laughs> all right, you guys. Good night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you to everyone that bought something. Thank you.